Welcome to Vintage Overland Adventures. Larry here. On this episode, we'll be doing interior panels, the rear hatch, and both cargo doors. So kick back, enjoy. This ought to be a good one. What do you think? Will this contraption work? As long as it doesn't slip, right? It's just a, a scrolling blade, so it's slow. Fancy. Dan Dog, what do you think? <laughs> You're a carpenter. Ready to fall. Holy cats. That's the straightest line I ever cut in my whole life. Pretty good. I'm happy. Should I center the knots? Can I, can I, can I? Yeah. It's so naughty. Yeah, all this wood was pretty thrashed. I mean, there's dents in it. I would say that's probably center right there. Oh, the mounting holes. I just marked those with a pencil. So I'll measure down and I'll drill all those holes. Screw that in. What do you think of that? I guess we could just uh, center that. Just centering the drill bit on the little line I made. All right, let's go see how we did. Looks pretty good. Let's get some screws. Hey, that one lined up, I think. That big old knot in there. This needs to come down a little bit. That one's going in at a weird angle, folks. Two more. Dent. <laughs> yeah, you can see that one was off a little bit. It's going over that way. That one too. I guess this one went center and all the other ones are off pretty good. What I'll do is take the pencil and run it all the way around, cut the edges. Oh, this is perfect, folks. It's gonna be in a little bit, but well, that's good, right? And we got the latch, we gotta do a notch. Oh, that's a huge screw up. Do that a couple times. A little piece of metal, we'll do the straight cuts and then we'll freehand the corners. How's that? Is the arrow up? Right through a knot. Well, that knot's different. I'm like, I thought we centered these. <laughs> it's like, all right, let's cut this stuff out. Gotta get one in here. It's perfect. Oh, I like that line. Start on that line and on the end. We're good. What are you doing way over there? Hey, I went to a little bit bigger piece on the last cut. That's how you learn, right? All right, let's see what we got, folks. Oh yeah. It's gotta trim these corners. Pretty cool. We'll see how this sands out. It's a pretty rough piece of wood. So let me get the latch in. We'll mark that. I marked it off right here. I put a line and a line. Little trace. All right, this one's in. Got that all cut out. This needs a good sanding. Onto this window. This looks pretty easy. I'm just gonna do a Rectangle, measure out. Yeah, that's a pretty nice piece. Looks like we'll have one knot hole. Yeah, we're down to the, the knot hole stuff, folks. I think I'd rather have that 
instead of that. So definitely go from this side. A little thicker. All right, let's blow that one off. Turned out so good. This one, on the other hand, with all those craters and ridges, this one's gonna be a handful. I think it gives it character though, don't you? Let it dry. We'll hit it with another coat. That golden yellow with the orange on the Baltic birch. I just love that. So I'm gonna go park this in the drying area and I'll be back for the next victim. This one's gonna be a, a treat to do. Sand it down, get the clear on this one and then we'll come back and we'll hit, we'll hit this panel with the DA with some 220 and a little bit of primer and we'll get that painted too. This one's a wreck, but I don't know. Something about these two knot holes. Can't wait to see what these guys look like with some clear coat on them. All right, let's blow it off. Get that clear cut in. It's almost dry already, right? You see that? A couple wet spots. Very little humidity out here. This looks like gold now, just popping through. Those orange veins. A little breeze coming. Easy. Wow. A little dry up here. Dry means they didn't put as much paint as the rest. Like I'm a painter. <laughs> Right? Ooh, that's a nice piece. I'll sand the door down and get that in, in paint right now before it gets dark. It's like 20 minutes away. Hit this with some 220 and put one or two more coats of clear on these. And that'll be done. Our sun is going away, folks. This is gonna be beautiful, right? I put a wore out 220 on here. Well, that's cool. I thought I used Gorilla Glue. Don't use Gorilla Glue, unless it's something you're selling. <laughs> They'll never get them out, ever. Perfect. That's cool, right?
Sounds dead. Oh no. Its pickup was in the wrong spot. Remember about the glasses, folks. That's it. Done. Hand twitcher, you see that? Whoa, buddy. Good enough, right? Got some wet spots. I see dings and dents. Tent. Stuff's still tacky. Oh no. No. Maybe over here. No. Drives fast. All right, folks. Let's go check on that wood. Well, the wood is dry. It feels real dry. So we're gonna hit this with the 220 and then some clear. <laughs> All I do, if it was clear coat, like automotive grade clear coat, that you mix and you put the cure in it, you could probably press on it a little bit more. You could feel it. I let the weight of the sander cut it. And that's it. Very good, very good. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. And I'm in your way. There we go. It's whoo, beautiful over here. Let's go put that away. Yeah, good job. This one looks like it hasn't even been clear coated. It's a little sheen to it, but nothing. Super dry. Let's hit that with the sander. That's it. No weight. Just the weight of the sander. Rattle can stuff, right? I love it. Looks good. Oh, there's not very much left in this one. I could see from this angle. I hear it. We're about out. From this angle, I can't follow the wet line. But I think it should be still wet from the previous run. Oh, that looks really good. I'm sure I'll drop it. Look at it. See it shine? Yeah, it's a good one. All right, folks, I'll catch you tomorrow. We had a pretty productive afternoon. The rear hatch is pretty much done. We'll screw that together, throw it back in here, and then we can start on this tomorrow. I guess I forgot to push the record button. We installed all the insulation. Looking good, huh? We got the lock in. Ooh, what do you think? I cleaned up around the edges, all the old seal glue. We'll get those back in. Loosen this stuff up. Let's get all these at least started, and then we'll come back and tighten them down. Trying to weigh me down here.
Yeah. Yeah, I got some stuff sitting on here. I use some sealant around the window. We'll see, uh, it looks good. I see it's squished out. I put it on the door. I put it on the wood. Got some heavy things to hold it down. I just thought having this glued in instead of a bunch of screws around it would look so much better. This actually will work for the seals too. So let's go ahead and get these seals in. There we go. This one looks a little short. This one looks a little dry. I grabbed two. I'll just, I'll glue one together. Just try, just try as best you can to get that to be straight. Do the same thing on this one. Squish it down a little bit. This one here is at a little bit of an angle on this one. Perfect. This one did not want to cut. There we go, we'll, we'll glue that one. Get that one glued in. Good enough. This one I just flipped upside down. Let's glue those in. Thinking about removing that for right now. So we'll just do a little bead of glue and we'll do the same on this guy. Smear it around a little bit. What we don't want it to do is touch this paint. It's chemical sensitive. <laughs> Woo, right? There it is. I don't think it dries that fast. There we go. I did put a little bit on each end here. It should, uh, should seal up pretty good. Let it stand for a couple minutes. Get it on your fingers. This is a bunch of scraps. We'll let all that glue dry up. We'll take the hatch rod, straighten it, and paint it. Since we got a little extra time, let's see what, what it say here. It says warning. Do not huff. Oh wait, cancer warning. California. So don't buy this in California, folks. Everything in California causes cancer. Okay, directions. Allow cure time, one or two minutes before mating surfaces. Full cure, two to six hours. What? It's, it's pretty warm today. I wanna say outside shade temp, or right in the garage, right in the doorway. 83.5, beautiful day. Sun temp, bus is 110 in the sun. So that's, that's not too bad. Inside the bus is 103. Not bad. All right, let's get this sanded down. Yeah, what, what color do we paint it? Let's do something weird. Let's paint it like bright orange or something. There we go, let's let this dry. Rinse all the soap off. That old original Volkswagen gray. I like it. Hey folks, got the door in. I slammed it closed and this panel that I glued in earlier fell right off. So I had to screw it in. Some of them aren't the best job, but it'll work. Looks good. I don't know about this. What happened? Looks like a candy cane. All right, anyways, we are starting on the cargo door panels. All right, turn these around.
Anyways, easy, trace these out and cut them. I don't know if that's something that's soaked in, is it a rub? But this is it. And these go all the way down, so. I guess we could drill out the holes. Nice, pretty easy. Okay, the upper, the upper, we're gonna have to find another piece because this is going to be for both lowers. We won't have enough to do an upper and a lower on those. Wow, this looks, this looks really close, doesn't it? Oh my lordy. What the heck, right? Perfect. What? Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Let me go over here, right? Boom, how's that look? Perfect. Back to the two by fours and plastic table, folks. As you can tell, being the cargo doors, it doesn't have to be square. That's cool. Fancy, uh, fancy stuff. You know, the corners, the corners for. little notch I had to move it all over because that little notch I'm glad I caught it a little wobbly in here it's all right It's perfect. Yeah, good enough.
Oh, really? Fancy. These are supposed to be a little bit bigger. I didn't do any of those. It's that one. It's that one. So we've got to come in and do the bottom one since it's, it's a little lower. These are the ones that hold in the cabinet. What's wrong with this thing? There we go. Look at these big ones, right? Are those big? Big, 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 let's check. Those are big. Yeah, those are big. Good, good, good. Should be a couple more over here. I see them. All right. Lightly sand it. Get some 180. Lightly sand it will fit it if we have to make any modifications. Nice. Looks good. Well, let's get a screwdriver. Ah, oh, good stuff. Water. Let's see how we did. Was wrong, I could tell right from the get go. That screw is really shallow. Let's let's get some of that reproduction stuff. There we go. Much better. I'll use the original collars, but. What do they call them? Excutcheons. Right? Yeah. Easy, buddy. Gotta go down a little bit. On your way? All right. I'll move. I'll move. I'll move. Give me a second. <laughs> Here. There's one. This one's off. This whole, this whole thing's off a little bit. All right. Fits good. If it fits, it ships. Let me get a drill. Tiny.
place. Over a little bit. Nope, looks about the same on both sides. Very good. Where are you? There it is. What's this one look like? Oh, this one's way off. It's because of the, the bar. How are we looking here? That's pretty good. Smidging off. Does it just have to go up a little bit? Down a little bit, maybe? Pretty good. Easy, man, easy. Don't break it. How are we looking here? Pretty good. Pretty good. These are off a little bit. Pretty, pretty close. The hole's too small too, so I'll have to go up with the hole. Just maybe a, an eighth of an inch. Good. Try that out. Good, good. This one, I have to go up a little bit with that one. Come on, buddy. In there. You might as well watch. This one has to go up a little bit. Then stick it in the hole and just raise up the drill. Reams out the hole a little bit. See? Perfect. Right in there. How does this one look? The same. This one actually goes in, but I'll do the same. That hole lines up now. It's getting dark. Perfect. Just afternoon here on a Sunday. Wow, it's sticky today. It drizzled and rained all morning. Anywho, it's looking good as long as it doesn't get wet. Back to where we left off. Um, the upper part of the door. So we're gonna cut these out, let's go. Back to work, folks. Back to work. Back to work. Wow. 
What is going on with this blade? Woo. Too fast, too slow. Old wood. I change this blade out. Scrolling too. The humidity? I don't know. That's weird. Let's see how this works. Nice. It's hanging in there. It's, it's not nice. We'll see. What, we'll see what we can do here. This one we can turn it up. Nice. I'll stand over here so you guys can see. Just on the back side, so. your kitchen it's not nice but if it's your bus it's nice right all right let's rip this one down we get a box for all the crap you're 30 somewhere right I hope I hope all this works out my shoulder doesn't bend that way. More pennies. There it is. That's the way it used to look. Oil. All the spices. We don't have to worry about these. Just the rats. So let me get this one off. We'll loosen these guys up. Oh, jackpot, 50 cents. This is the kitchen area. So we'll start down here. Cool. Oh my. Come on, buddy. Hoping on this panel no holes drilled into it and it's not stained on the back side or painted There's a lot of these on the when I first started I just was rattle canning the backs with whatever paint I had laying around my buddy Paul let's get a new one Acme. Use Volkswagen hardware. Pretty cool. It's pretty good, huh? It's definitely not screwed in. See if I painted it. Oh, it does have a stain around it. We'll see. That sucks. That's some, that'd be a pretty good piece. Let's make clean that up. Stains. It's not too bad. I just went with 60 grit. You see. A little bit of stain still in it. I think I'll just cut it a couple more times and I'm gonna roll that. I can't reach the inside, so I'll just paint the inside. Yep. 
All these decals are water transfers, vintage. All right, get the stickers off. See all the glue residue. Couple little do by hand. All right, folks, there we go. So what we'll do is clear coat the wood and then after it dries, we'll mask off the wood and we'll paint all this that white. That white. Same with this, add a little chippy, glued it back, we'll mask off the wood and paint the rest white. Yeah, right? There we go. This goes down in there. There we go. Like I said five times already, we'll leave this one for later. Mm-hmm. How's it look? Humid. The clouds are covering that sun. That's so much better. I see a little X or forgot to sand off. And another one. I'll just leave these all loose. See where I land. Couple turns. Hear that crow? I don't mind crows. I'm so happy. So much better than that dark. That dark wood. We'll do original. Original on this one, see how it works. Same weird angle. And oh, perfect. There we go. Put these two screws in, pulled it in, nice. This is for the rack that I showed earlier. What we can do on this one is little little mini bathroom. I think that'd be that'll work out pretty good. Tighten those in for right now. A little plastic container under my front seat, like to brush my teeth and put some deodorant on. Shower in I can. I, I found a couple longer door panel screws. I don't know what they were used for, but we're gonna roll those for this. Come on. Let's Did you hear that? Woo. There we go. Pretty sure this one has to go up a little bit. You hear that? Uh, a little, it's a little screwy for those people that like it. One way. There it is. A little burr on that guy. Starting to look interesting. Ooh, it's gonna look good. Just rattle can this thing up. One more panel to cut out, clear coat, and install. Looks like a late Sunday evening. That looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Looks really good. Welcome to the Endless Summer Series. Woo! This was the real deal. Absolutely destroyed me. All right, let's get this last couple things cut out. Draw out some holes. Get it sanded down, a few coats of clear on it. Get that mounted up, and then we'll put the spice rack on. We should be done for this week, Sunday. This is, this is pretty good. Normally Sundays I only work a half day because Mondays I work a full day and a half. <laughs> yeah, Mondays are like 12 hour days for me. 
Dallas is up, nine nothing. Yeah, I'm watching, I'm watching football. Let's see where we're at here, can we make it? Yep, I think so. We'll freshen those up. Yeah, we did. Rough cut. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We forgot one. We forgot the main one. All right, be right back. I got you. No worries. I got you. How are we looking here, folks? That hole looks good. That hole looks good. This one is off a little bit, so we need to raise that one up a little bit. The bottoms look really good. Tights look, look at that. Lines up perfect. Lines up perfect. All right, just raise this one a little bit. Be right back. I think we're good right there. These are perfect. Let's get some hardware, folks. Hey, right, don't drop. Everybody? Whew. Just seeing where we're at here. That one's just off a little bit. This one's off just a smidge. This one's perfect. That one's off a little bit. That's perfect. Just a little high here. So, look at that one, just went right in. Look at that, perfect. That's all we need. You just look at the screws, find your pencil. This one's off a little bit. I didn't even try it. Let's put a little mark, a little moon, a little moon, a little moon. Just where I want to enlarge the hole. Ooh, big moon. This one's, I think this one's perfect, but I'll just go a little bit over here. This one's huge. We'll go way out here. A little moon, a little moon. Oh, this one's off just a smidge. It's funny how those bigger ones are just perfect. I, I think the screws would fit right in them. All right, let's clean that up. How's that? We'll do that. These ones I'm gonna have to take off, but like this one here, Find the hole. It's got a really small drill bit, so it doesn't uh, widen the hole. It just widens the hole in the wood panel. Come on, buddy. That one didn't line up before. This one's just a little bit off this way. That one could have been forced. Nice. Looks like this one needs to go down. This one has to go over. What do we got here? Let's see if these actually fit. It's a little off. A little off on that one. Yeah, this one, this one's way off. This one was pretty far off. Coming over towards you guys. Is it blurry? Is it blurry? I mean, with with that pushed in, this one lined up. So we're just gonna leave that one alone. This one down here, that one. This one's a different story. You guys are closer to the action than I am. Perfect.
Don't try that at home, folks. You'll end up with holes everywhere. Measure. This side looks really good. Both taper out a little bit. Got to fix three of these. Sand it down, paint it, get it to match how slippery this stuff is up here. Yeah. It's like two hours away from not being a mess anymore. I know you cabinet guys are going, oh, why? That's horrible. <laughs> All right, let me clear coat it and we'll get that mounted up. Oh, <laughs> getting dark, folks. The long, the long weekend. Do you think? Good. I can stick some of that behind there. Oh, we did it backwards. Oh, Looks good. Do it backwards this time. Well, this stuff stores good because I've owned this for a while. This might be tricky right here. This stuff's grabby, man. This stuff's really grabby. I knew it. I knew it, but it pressed in there pretty good. This stuff stored okay. I'm not mad at it, but I'm not real happy with it. It's super grabby. It's okay. Super grabby is better than no grabby. This stuff dries up pretty good. Like if you get the inside of your doors wet, this stuff in the foam will let it breathe. Um, the foam board that you spray and stick in there, that too will let it breathe. What do you think, folks? All right, I got the last coat drying right now for this last panel. So this is ready to go. It's ready, everything's ready. It's gonna let that dry. Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed that endless summer episode. <laughs> that was a crazy run. I about killed myself on that one. A lot of work in a short amount of time. We were able to get the rear hatch done and the cargo doors done. So let's take a look. All right, we, we've seen that already. That turned out amazing. I have a few artifacts, you know, since my, since it fell off, but I've decided I'm gonna run this official Mafia staff car and this with a State Farm topper right here. Put it upside down so it's a little decoration for inside and that'll take away from my screws that I didn't wanna do. I got a candy cane. Anyways, let's get on it. This turned out fabulous. Here's the other rack that goes right here. I, I like to widen it. Like if I go two and a half inches further out, 
I'll narrow this two and a half inches. It's got this fancy hinge system on it. Not too keen on this. It's a little too, it's a little too modern. Now let's get the tape off. All right, ready? Uh oh. So I'm probably gonna ditch this. It's pretty cool. I can, I can make it where I can make this a little bit longer. We have to pull it out, and then it'll go, and then it'll have a pivot point right about there, and then if you push it in, it'll lock in. But since this one's further out and that one's further back, it's just in neutral. It's in, it's in neutral right now, and you have to have it latched, which is cool. Well, we get a little idea, you know, once I put that piece back in, all the stuff in there just looks so much brighter. Well, I'm guessing, oh, I'm so stiff. It's Tuesday. Just finished. I just realized that the end didn't have any audio. So I was like, and my beginning didn't have no audio. So I'll do a voiceover on the beginning tonight. We'll publish that probably around 10 o'clock tonight. So we'll be ready for tomorrow. Anyways, I really enjoyed that. This was a, a fun one. So we're, we're getting pretty close here. It's looking like we're gonna be going on an outing pretty soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I wanna thank my current and all the new subscribers I've been getting lately. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Well, make sure you tighten up your seatbelt and hang on. It's gonna be a good fall. Take care, folks.